Woods here. I just wanted to put a little video together to let you know what I know about the vaccine for COVID-19 and why I chose to get the vaccination. As a science guy, I'm uh, one to follow, follow the science and really look at the risk versus the benefit. Uh, what is a vaccine? The vaccine is really a protein that's found on the virus that has been, uh, through quality control, put together and injected into an individual. And that protein, and it's not the virus, it's just the protein, goes into your body and then your body mounts an immune response. These antibodies, which fight off all kinds of infection, now uh, mount a very specific response against this protein, which has been proven to be effective with COVID. Uh, so how is it administered? It's administered in two doses, three weeks apart. And in over 35,000 people who were immunized with this, it was 95% effective um, at about three weeks after the second dose. How long does it last? And how long does it last if you've had COVID? We don't really know. We suspect probably a year or so. But at this point, we know that it is effective in preventing COVID. Um, question I get sometimes is, I had COVID. Should I get the vaccine? And the answer is yes, because you don't know how long immunity is going to be. You could have had COVID six months ago or maybe three or four or five months ago. Uh, from now, you could be uh, uh, good, be susceptible. So the, the current recommendation from the CDC is yes. Let's talk about some of the myths. Uh, there's this myth floating around that it was just uh, rushed through for emergency use. What does that really mean? It means that they were able to give treatment in certain individuals of high risk while they were also doing the clinical trials uh, to have to go through the FDA. It's still a very rigorous testing that went through over 35,000 people to prove that it was safe and effective and that the FDA approved it before make it, making it available to the population. So this was not, there were no corners cut here. This was administered to over 35,000 people. There's another myth out there. What if uh, it affects fertility? There's absolutely no science to show that it, uh, it affects fertility. However, we do know that COVID does affect fertility. So weighing those risks together and dispelling that myth I thought was important. Why do I choose to get the vaccine for COVID and why did I get it two weeks ago and I'm getting my booster in a week? It all comes down to the miss, to the um, managing the math and managing of the risk. We do know the science of this vaccine. It's extremely safe and there have been very few side effects. What bothers me is the unpredictability of this virus. Okay, although there are people that are asymptomatic and other people that don't get terribly sick. I had a family friend, early 60s, very healthy, highly productive, not overweight, who got sick and was in the ICU. Uh, a family, another physician who got sick and was in the ICU for a week. I have another physician in their 40s, Beverly Hills area, no, uh, absolutely no comor comorbidities or obesity, died from this last week. And one of our nursing team has unresolved pulmonary issues from it. And that's what scares me about this virus. Not the fact that you can get sick for a week or so and someone could be asymptomatic. It's that there's, very, uh, there's a lot of unpredictability. So why am I doing it? One, to have the freedom to see my friends and my family again without fear of getting someone sick or myself sick. Two is just our obligation to our patients. I feel an obligation to get this so that I know we've had, what, six months now, we have had not one traceable case back to this practice. I wanna do everything I can do to make sure our patients are safe. And the next, the third reason really is it's a major step toward a recovery for this country uh, with this pandemic. We know that a pandemic will eventually subside over time, but this is a major nail in the coffin. I think that's important. So I wanna dispel those myths. I wanna also tell you that I believe all five of our doctors who are very knowledgeable uh, are getting uh, either gotten the vaccine or getting the vaccine. So I think, you know, anyone could be skeptical, be, be the physicians who have a lot of knowledge and have taken immunology, but we all believe it's safe. So I wanted to get that information out to you and hope you found it useful.